Hey, it's Brian G. Johnson. I want to show you how easy it is to create a perfectly formatted book for the Kindle platform quickly and easily. Magic Bullet Books will save you tons of time and anguish and frustration. I'm going to start out by clicking on Add New Publication and type in my book title, which is Your First Dog with Otis Johnson. That's my dog, by the way. And I'll add uh, nonfiction as the format type. I'm gonna type in my author name. And for table of contents, I'm gonna basically have the table of contents at the front of the book, and it'll be based on H1 titles, which is basically the title of your chapters or pages. I'll show you that in a minute. Now I can add more content to the title page if I'd like, but it's optional. I'll just leave it blank. Lastly, let's go ahead and upload the cover image. I'm gonna browse. Select my cover, and I'm gonna hit save. Now you can see at this point, Magic Bullet Books is saving my cover. Usually takes about 20 seconds. I'll pause when it's uploaded, and we'll move forward. Okay, easy peasy, the book cover has been uh, uploaded. I'm gonna click save just again, just to make sure ever all of our information is ready to roll and saved. I'm gonna click all publications once again, and now you can see I have the book I'm working on now in publications. So let's add our book contents to our book now. To do that, I'll click show all pages, add new page. Now you can add all your contents of a book in one page, like I'm gonna do for this book, because it's a very short children's book, or you could uh, have as many pages as you like. If I go back to all publications, you can see I've organized Alice's Adventures in Wonderland uh, based on chapters, chapter one, chapter two, and each of these chapters are a page. If I click on edit, I can um, edit the so images, resize the images, align the images, I can bold text, whatever I really want to do. I'm going to click on save. This book is ready to roll. I don't need to really move forward or do anything. I'm going to click back to publications and I need to add my book content. So how do I do that? I just click add new page. And I'm going to title the page, The Adventure of Your First Dog. Now this is an H1 tag, and if you remember, our table of content, contents will be based on H1 tags. So this will be a clickable link when we're done. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you some of the really awesome features. Here are some of the images that we're gonna be using in this book. These images were taken with my iPhone. Um, you can see here the size is 960 by 720. That's far too large for a Kindle, but this system resizes and compresses images on the fly. That makes it really, really easy. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, select some of the text right here for my book. I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna paste it in. Okay, now I'm just gonna do a little bit of formatting and I can see I need to add a picture of my dog Otis Mountain's photo and that's uh, a correlating uh, photo that's right here, Otis Aspen, Otis in the mountains. Here we go. So that's me and Otis when we're hanging out in, up in the mountains. So I'm going to just come to this placeholder and add my image. I'm going to click on the image icon. I'm going to choose because I've already uploaded. And if you want to upload an image, you just drag it in and it uploads automatically. But in this case, I'll just go ahead and choose. So I'm gonna th scroll through some of the images I've already added, and here's the image I'm looking for. I'll click on it, and you can see the image is formatted perfectly for the Kindle. It's been resized, and not only resized, but the image has been, has been compressed, which is gonna uh, make it just a really, really easy for you to move forward. And it looks like we have actually two images, so I'm just gonna get rid of one of them, and we're good to go. So. I'm going to just continue to format the text, add in the images, and it's just that easy with Magic Bullet Books. Find another image. This is a picture of Otis when he was just born. It's added in and resized perfectly. I'll continue to add a few more images, perfectly spacing my book. And this is an image that I took because I thought it was fun and artistic, so I want to add it to my book. Okay, let's go ahead and add this one right here. 
Pretty cool, Otis is looking good. And that's just how easy it is. Now, what we can do from here <clears throat> is let's say we wanna have something uh, bolded. We can just bold the text, just like you're writing an email or working in Word. And we'll take out this text here. And let's go ahead and save this information. Now, as we come down, we can scroll to all publications once again, and let's publish our book. It's really pretty easy. You can see now we have a new button that says publish. I'm going to click that. It takes me to the publish details and um, publish publication ID is 404. The title is here. The author is here. It's a nonfiction book. Table of contents is going to be based on uh, H1 tags. Sounds great. Let's click publish. And the book has been compiled and downloaded. We can actually get a preview right here. And this is basically the size of the book. Now, this is not what it looks like on a Kindle. This is just a representation so you can get an idea. And as you can see, here's a link of table of contents. Uh, so it's very easy to add in all the elements that book buyers are looking for. My images have been aligned perfectly. They've been resized. They look wonderful. I'll close that. All I need to do is click download. I'm going to save the zip file to my hard drive, and I simply take that zip file and upload it to Amazon KDP. You're done. Welcome to Magic Bullet Books.